Hey, hello, welcome to Community Corner. My name is Aaron Connor Castle. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Community Corner. I'm Ryan Nicholas Ray. And I'm David Tiritiro. Today, we welcome Joe Holman, a recent graduate from Oakland University, and who works in the field of staffing for those with disabilities. She is a patient, kind, caring, but also such a standard that guides and informs those she works with the overall goal of providing progress and a good experience for herself and for her clients. And she was with me. We welcome Joe Holman. You welcome to the program. You welcome, Hi. welcome, my welcome. welcome, my dear. Good afternoon to you, my dear. Welcome so, to the program. <laughs> Okay, please tell us a little bit about your family and background <clears throat> growing up. Um, I was raised by a single mom. I have a little brother, and my mom adopted two of my cousins, so it was a full house. Uh, what was your experience during your school years? In my school years? Mm -hmm. Um, well, I just graduated from Oakland, and I have a degree in psychology and a, and a degree in sociology. Nice. Yeah. That's cool. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now, what are, what, what, are your, what are your personal hobbies and, and interests? Um, I am really passionate about fitness. I, ah, fitness. Yeah, I'm really passionate about the environment as well. That's um, good. So I do a lot of volunteering for... Um, green organizations. Mm -hmm. so. Oh, green. Yeah. Hey, cool. Hey, go, hey, go green. Go green. Yeah, go green. Go green. <laughs> yeah, I could say go grizz. It's nice to help the planet. <laughs> In college at OEL, did you study about disabilities? If not, what did you study? Um, I studied psychology and sociology, so those are kind of related. Um, I did learn a little bit about disabilities, but it actually wasn't until I started working with you um, and seeing you present and you talk about your life that I learned about the history of people with disabilities. So, like uh, the institutionalization and the deinstitutionalization. <coughs> I didn't know that before I started working with you. Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. But, um,. Uh, what was your uh, what was your college study in the, uh, what was your college study and degree? Um, psychology and sociology. So psychology oh, is the right. study of like the individual mind, and sociology is the study of populations. Okay. So, yeah. Thank you. It's nice to know. Oh, <coughs> well, Joel, in your family, do you have anyone in your family or in your circle with a disability? Uh, I actually do not. You don't. Um, Nope. Um, my grandmother is receiving care, um, and I used to care for my grandmother a little bit, but besides that, I don't have anybody in my family. Well, that's wonderful. That, well, that's great. Can you explain your purpose in choosing this line of work? Um, well, I want to be a life coach, which is kind of like a therapist, but you work on um, helping the client achieve their goals, so it's very much related to being a direct care worker. Cool. So this was a good experience for me. Uh, what has been your previous work in this, in this field? In this of, field? Of assisting, of assisting those are challenges. Mm -hmm. Um, in high school, when I lived at home, I worked at a therapeutic writing center. I was telling David about this the other day. Okay. It's um, where they take people with disabilities and they teach them how to ride horses. So Ooh. I would go and I helped with that. And I did that for years, multiple times a week, and I loved it. So I think cool. that's some of my history. That's cool. Yeah. Nice. So now, Jewel, what agency did you select Agent to work with? Um, I selected Always Care Services. 
Ah, I think I know someone who works over there. <laughs> John Mellon. John Mellon? Okay. Um, I picked Always Care um, because I actually didn't know a lot about um, the field of direct care work. And one of my friends was doing, uh, she was a direct care worker and she worked with Always Care, so she referred me to them. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. What is required in agency classes and credentials? Um, they require you to attend um, a bunch of trainings uh, that they have and trainings that um, the community of mental health has. Um, there's a recipient's rights training, there's like a blood-borne um, pathogens training, there's training on how to um, deal with sometimes aggressive situations. There's a bunch of them that they require that you take and that you get refreshed on once a year. Uh, what takes place in choosing or selecting clients? Um, well, the one client I did choose is kind of a stinker, but, <laughs> oh, yeah. but, um, really? <laughs> just teasing David, but, uh, you try to work with somebody <laughs> that, um, <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, uh, so I try to work with somebody, um, that I, I don't know, that I know I could mesh with personality wise, um, and that I can have a little bit of fun with. So. Cool. Mm -hmm. and that's what it's all about, right? Yes. Fun is the key word. Yes. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. It should be the main focus in life. Exactly, Aaron. You're right. You're yeah. so true. Uh, too bad it's not. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, Jewel, what takes place at an interview with a new client? Um, as David can attest, uh, you sit with sometimes his or his or her family member, the client. Oh. Um, the caseworker, um, and they go over uh, their plan or their goals, um, and then you see <coughs> if it's the right fit for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to discuss in that meeting. Are you allowed to talk? What training is available to work with different challenges? What training is Each available? One is different. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely right. There's different trainings for children. Um, I know. Um, for assistant living centers, more for like the elderly, they have a different training. Um, for me, I just got the general, I don't know, package. I didn't get like a child specialist, <laughs> but there are different things you can do. I'm not aware of all of them. Uh, yeah. uh, what, um, mm -hmm. okay, also what I haven't heard of, okay, also what I haven't seen in a long time. Oh, yeah. One of them. Uh, uh, what training is needed to support the PCP? Ah, the PCP. Um, again, Always Care has a training that they have you go through and they talk in detail about the PCP. The PCP is the Personalized Care Plan and it's a list and just like a very detailed um, explanation and document about their goals, what they need, um, <laughs> things like that, restrictions. Yeah. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Here's a quick question. Person-centered plan. Oh, is it person-centered plan? Yeah, it's it's okay. The person-centered has called. Person-centered plan. Okay. So, here's a question for you. Mm -hmm. What are you scheduled to do with the client? Activation, activation needs, housework, shopping, cooking, and most importantly, budgeting. <laughs> um, for it's different for each client because okay. each client has different needs. Um, do you care if I talk about yours, David? Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> so, f so for for David, I help him um, create his grocery list. I help him go shopping for things that he needs, okay. and I teach him. I don't just do it for him. I teach him how to cook, how to um, clean his place properly. Um, we also support his goals of going to the gym together. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, same with budgeting. Uh, oh, oh, David oh. has another staff as well, so it's a lot of working with the other person to make sure that you guys are only grocery shopping when you need to. All right. Um, not going overboard. Okay. Thank you, Joe. Watch me in the movie Overboard. Overboard, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I think it's your turn. 
all you to do task alone or as a client staff team. Am I to do tasks alone with my client? All you to do tasks alone or as a client. Gotcha. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely teamwork and it's um it's teamwork with the client, it's teamwork with the family, it's teamwork with your um, co-workers. Um, it's team, like if I were to do, when we, when we do laundry, um, I assist you, but a lot of it you can do on your own. So you do that, the part like loading up the laundry into the washer. Um, I help you put the quarters in, we help count them out. So it's a team activity. Oh, I know two guys who need that. <laughs> oh, really? They really? Oh, hush. <laughs> oh, hush. I find one of them. <laughs> really? Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, what paperwork is required and how often? Um, there's paperwork every single time I go in and work with a client. Um, there's also weekly paperwork and. Um, there is one monthly form, so. Okay. All right. It um, I'm explaining more. Yeah. Explain um, what's required? I explain. So there's um, sometimes there's a little chart and it asks you what goals did you attend to that day. Ooh. So I fill that part out and then I write a detailed description of what we did that day. Um, I also can write. Uh, if like an, if a task that was normally needed was refused or if it was done well um, and then at the end the guardian or um, like with David he can sign his own uh, approves the paperwork okay <laughs> cool all right question must you report to agency or a person or do submit your hours compile jobs via the internet uh, my company, I cannot. I know other companies do. Uh, oh. For me, it's all physical copies. So I oh, give physical. my physical oh. paperwork oh. to um, the caseworker. Uh, uh, what, what, what does it do? It's, it's due weekly. So I give really? it, yep. Um, hmm. I give the paperwork that we did for that week. Um, including the everyday log that I mentioned, and I give it to the caseworker okay. weekly. Thank you. Yeah. Nathan? What in general does your support work, support work demand of you? Um, it demands for me to be patient. Um, it demands for me to be understanding. Um, it's kind of, it's, I'm, I'm kind of like a motivator and a support system. Um, I kind of, my, what it demands of me is to be able to have good people skills, to redirect behavior, um, to get things done, to work as a team, to be collab, collaborative. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so it, it demands a lot of um, people skill, a lot of uh, patience um, to get things done. Well, that's important. <clears throat> yes. What does um, uh, what does a usual day involve? Like um, um what's um, uh, uh, what normally happens on your day to day? Oh, great. Basis. Um, it's different with each client. For David, um, we do things like we go grocery shopping. Normally, actually, normally right when I get there, um, David and I go over what we're going to do that day. Oh, um, index cards. I was good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have index cards for David, and we go over what order he wants to oh, do the dude. certain things he knows he has to do. Okay. Um, uh, we check and hopefully the apartment is clean and there's no trash everywhere and everything is where it's supposed to be. Okay. Um, no spills. And uh, after that, sometimes we, I take David out into the community. He does a lot of volunteer work. So um, I assist David doing that. That's good. We often um, 
go to the YMCA so David can work oh, out. Yes. Um, and then we do a lot of miscellaneous other things that yep. he needs to get done. Um, and part of that is like budgeting, uh, doing errands. Um, and we keep, most of the time we end the day with like cleaning. <laughs> yeah. 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 Ah, uh, the task everyone hates to do. Really? <laughs> yes, really. Uh, uh, I'm walking out of something I need to do. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. It is. All right. Too late. All right. All right. One, question, one question, Joe. How does your job goals determine agency, involvement, and Medicaid, Medicaid rules? Um, each company is different and follows a uh, different set of rules. Um, Always Care follows HIPAA, so it's okay. very private. Um, uh, there's rules um, about like incident reports. If there's an incident that happens, there's rules um, for how you work with a client. Um, like for David, not that I would anyway, but I would never threaten David. I would never um, yell at David or anything like that. Um, so um, there's just rules and regulations to make sure that the client um, has their rights respected and there's rules for my safety, um, things like that. <laughs> Please see us a job goals for the future. For my career path? Yeah. Um, I would like to be a life coach, so I want um, to work with people to help them achieve their goals. Um, on a more um, uh, individual, I guess, basis. Um, a life yeah. coach is kind of like a therapist, but it's mo more goal-oriented. So a therapist, they do a lot of different kinds of talk therapy. So what I would be doing is I would have some kind of talk therapy, but I would also be working and giving the person like tools or resources that they need and coming up with plans so they can achieve their goals. And I would be working with them to do that. Um, and I also want to be an environmental sociologist. So I want to work with populations and help them be more green um, and things like that. All right. Yeah, this is cool. I think it's Aaron. Is that your turn? Um, no, I'm, I'm done with my question. I'm done. The, um, done? Okay. Um, yeah, the, um, the next thing we have, uh, the next thing we have, if we have flying for, is, is, is our favorite things. It's our favorite stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, please tell us a, a, a success story. Tell us a funny one. Success story. So uh, make I don't know if story. I have a funny success story. Oh, you said one. You said one. <laughs> one. No one. One. Come on, tell us one. one. How about the job you do? I, I, know, I know this story. <laughs> oh, great. We were at lunch together, and we be a old friend of yours. An old friend of mine. Hmm. When we were at lunch? <laughs> Ooh. I don't know. At Oakland? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he came to you. You introduced me to him. And he was this, this guy in the other side. Me? Oh. What? Oh, when we were at the gig this past weekend. Oh, that's right. Last Wednesday. I've been Lansing. Last Wednesday? Okay. Yeah. yeah, we did run into Ryan. Yep. Yeah, oh. and Ryan's staff. So um, tell me, Joel. I missed it. What is your favorite, you could go anywhere in the world, where would you want to go on vacation? Anywhere in the world. Anywhere? Anywhere in the entire world. Um, uh, I think I'd want to go to Australia. Australia, yeah. good day. <laughs> nice place. Why, please close. I will. What the? We are so happy to have joined us today, Jewel. And have you having shared a very busy experience and assisting those in need support and who learned okay. on these standards and ends have provided the opportunity to grow and gain skills to make more independence. Thank you so much for your services. It is important that we support people with disabilities every day. But remember, you know, it's about life. I'm Ryan Nicholas Ray. Uh, my name is Aaron Connie Cassidy. You've been watching on TV, right. CNN, and YouTube. I'm um, giving to you to be over watching on TV, CNN TV, and YouTube.com. See you all next time on Community Corner. Goodbye.